In this video, we're going to turn this into this. Keep watching and see how we do it. That works pretty good. This thing is dry as a bone after all these years of sitting out here in the weather. This is why we didn't do a rebuild. It's eat up down there in the corners on the bottom where it's in contact with the ground. So. I would have never been able to get that to hold together, so that's the reason I just went ahead and built a whole new box.
as good as I'm gonna get right there. Yeah, she's heavy.
All right, folks. Well, there you have it. It's done. Uh, I started out as a rebuild project. I thought I was going to just replace the carpet and everything that was in the old one. And then, as I got started, and I realized that uh, it was kind of had some rot and everything in the bottom. I uh, built it from treated wood. These are uh, two by twelve, um, which gives you eleven and a half inches uh, depth. And so, but it's not ground. It's not ground contact. So. You know, I put a couple of extra feet on the bottom of it this time to get it up a little bit higher. And I may even go over there and uh, put a couple of concrete block on the ground and get it up off the ground just a little bit more just to keep it from making contact with the ground. It'll last a lot longer that way. But I was really impressed when I took the other one apart at how all the carpet was still dry. This thing's been, that thing had been lived, I keep thinking this is the same one, this is brand new one. But the old one has been in the yard for five or six years. Me shoot at it several times a week. Um, and it's outlived two or possibly three sets of skins. Uh, a body skins from third hand archery. Uh, this is a three foot by three foot target. When you order the skins from them, you get a choice. You can get blank ones and you can paint your own target on there if you want. Or you can get these, this is the tic-tac-toe uh, with the circle targets. Uh, you can get one of these and you can get one of the, with the animals. It's got like a deer and it's got a coyote and it's a turkey. Uh, it's got several different animals on the other, that you can have on the other side and you can turn your target around and rotate it. And you've got different things to shoot at if you want. But personally, I just prefer to shoot at the circles. Um, so I just order it with two of those. But uh, you can turn it around and, and keep rotating and you'll get a lot more life out of your target. I haven't done that very often. Um, generally what happens is you see strands of carpet start to come through the back of it like you see in the beginning of the video. And so once it gets like that, you, I don't really want to shoot that side. So I just leave it alone. Um, you can buy bags at, at your box stores like Lowe's or Home Depot that are made out of this same material. They're, they're, they, they put sand in them and gravel. You can buy those bags and you could actually open it up and you could make your own target skin out of one of those bags, which is where the idea for these things actually came from if you go on their website and read the store. But I want to tell you about them. Um, on their target skins, the package, it tells you right here on the package. Uh, it has a lifetime guarantee. If through shooting you wear a two inch hole in every aiming spot, take a picture and email it to Third Hand Archery and we will send you another set of skins free. Well, I sent them a picture of mine. You can see what it looked like and asked them, did it disqualify? I never got a return email. You know, I, re you know, I guess it's, <clears throat> I guess it's just everybody shorthanded for help and everything because of all, everything we've all been through with COVID and everything else. So I guess that's what it was. I sent it to them a second time, three or four weeks later, and I still never, I, to this day, I've never got, they never answered my email. Um, and I did check my spam folders, that kind of thing, but I just never got a reply from them. But they sent me a new set of skins. Uh, it took about, I don't know, five or six weeks, I guess, from the original email. But I come home one day and there was a package there and here was a brand new set. So they stand behind their, their warranty and it makes a good product. So that's third hand archery. Do it yourself. You see, it's Third Hand Archery Inc. at TWC.com. Uh, but yeah, they make a good product. Price is pretty good. I want to say a set of these is 30 bucks. Might be 35. Um, but they hold up really well. Uh, if you look at the price of purchasing a three foot by three foot 
outdoor archery target, you'll see why it's worthwhile to do it on your own. Um, so you don't have to use carpet. Use whatever is available to you. Um, pretty much everybody knows somebody that's in construction and if you wanted to, you could find carpet. The real pain in building this target is cutting all that carpet. Handling the carpet and cut, rolling it out, laying it out, getting it cut. But the side grinder trick, that, that turned out to be the ticket for cutting the carpet. The first one, when I built it, I was down on the floor. I bought a, one of these fancy carpet cutters, which is a piece of trash. Uh, and I ended up just laying it on top of a board and sawing through it with one razor blade uh, utility knife after another. Uh, you know, just changing blades every few cuts and I suffered through it and got all that carpet cut. I, forget, I don't remember how many pieces is in this thing, but it's a bunch. Um, and of course you want to compress it down a little bit uh, to get it in there nice and tight. You, you won't get any pass-throughs on this thing. Um, very seldom you get one that'll stick through the, through the back. But, um, well, I take that back. My bow does stick them through the back because I keep it set between. Generally, off-season for bow hunting, I've usually got it set at 70 pounds for practice. And then come bow season, I usually dial it back to 65 um, just so that I can hold a little bit longer if I need to on a deer. Uh, but there's there are other videos on YouTube showing you how to build large targets like this and one of the ones that I've seen uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to that video uh, his I think it's the four before target I'm not sure of that but I think third hand archery sells two by two three by three and four before targets if I'm not mistaken um, but he built his box with a hole in the top and stuffed it full of clothes and cloth material uh, that he was getting from uh, Goodwill. He's buying it by the pound and he ended up putting several hundred pounds of clothing material and stuff and packing it in that target and it stops arrows just as good as this one. And that's a lot less trouble than it is to cut all this carpet and everything and stack it up in here. But this holds up. I mean, I could have just trimmed all the uh, the remnants off of that carpet where it had come come through the back and and I could have reskinned it uh, and kept on shooting it. Um, I did end up using a few pieces out of the top and the bottom of the old one because I didn't have enough new material but it was just like the day I put it in the target. Covering this thing with that plastic uh, those contractor bags like I did uh, the bottom one first then the top one overlaps just like you're doing shingles on a roof so it'll sheet, sheet water um, is obviously a really good idea because it stayed bone dry. Every piece of carpet in it, except for the one piece on the very bottom down there where that board was in contact with the ground, stayed dry. So it's a pretty, pretty good system. Uh, cover it with that plat those contractor bags, whatever you got, if you got some, uh, some clear polyethylene, uh, whatever. Um, cover it with that and then put your skin on there and you can use whatever you want. This is PVC that I did the first one with and I just reused it on this one. Um, uh, be aware, when an arrow hits that board right there, and it will, you will hit it, uh, you just will break it off. You're not going to pull it out of that treated wood. Um, so I've lost three or four arrows on the other one that way but everybody you're gonna lose arrows from time to time or break them in some some way but it's just a really really solid target it doesn't even wiggle when you shoot it i don't care what you shoot it with of course it's designed for field tips only uh you throw you shoot it, that thing with a broad head and you just supposed to unscrew your arrow take it out you're not you're not gonna pull it out uh not out of that carpet so it's a really effective system uh, it makes a really, really good target. It holds up really, really well. And so if you're looking to have a nice outdoor target, uh, there you go. That's how you can build one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, I hope you'll think about subscribing for me and hit that like button, please. Uh, it would be a really big help. Um, and I will be working on a couple more videos 
Um, I'm getting ready to set up a 6.5 Creedmoor uh, with scope and everything. I'm going to probably do a video on that. And I've got a, a brand new turkey gun that I'm going to be getting set up sometime pretty soon. I'm going to put a scope on it also because hopefully I'm going to be bringing you some videos with some footage where I'm filming through the scope. Uh, I've got the Tacticam FTS system, um, which I'm looking forward to using. So uh, hopefully we'll have a couple videos along those lines and we'll see how that turns out. So we'll do a little bit of a, uh, uh, I guess we'll do a bit of a review on that, but stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna keep making videos of one thing or another that has to do with the deer hunting, the turkey hunting, the outdoor stuff, the garden from time to time. Uh, probably do some catch, clean and cook stuff here before too long. Anyway, I appreciate you watching the video. And there you go.